President Biden taking decisive new action to get more vaccines out and more Americans vaccinated. Tonight, the president moved up the date that he expects vaccines to become readily available. President Biden also said he's using the Defense Production Act to make sure the new Johnson & Johnson doses are being made 24-7. KKL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is here with the latest. Tom. Hi there, Pat and Juan. Well, tonight, President Biden is making some big promises, telling Americans he thinks that the measures being taken, everyone who wants a vaccine should be able to get one in the next several months. The vice president and I have some good news to report. President Biden trying to offer new optimism to a public exhausted by a pandemic that has now consumed all facets of life for a solid year. Two of the largest healthcare and pharmaceutical companies in the world that are usually competitors are working together on the vaccine. Johnson & Johnson and Merck will work together to expand the production of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. This week, Johnson & Johnson began shipping out its one-dose vaccine across the country. Merck, which did not develop a vaccine of its own, is allowing two of its plants to be used to produce J&J's vaccine. We also invoked the Defense Production Act to equip two Merck facilities. Johnson & Johnson's vaccine manufacturing facilities will now begin to operate 24-7. With the increased production, the president laid out an improved vaccine forecast. This country will have enough vaccine supply, I'll say it again, for every adult in America by the end of May. Mr. Biden also announced that he will direct all states and territories to treat teachers and school workers as essential employees. We want every educator, school staff member, child care worker to receive at least one shot by the end of the month of March. And as more shots go into arms, some states are already rolling back measures used to slow the spread of the virus. In Texas, where multiple variants of the virus have been detected, the governor there announced he is lifting all restrictions. It is now time to open Texas 100%. Also, I am ending the statewide mask mandate. The Lone Star State is not alone. This new order removes all of our county mask mandates and allows businesses to operate at full capacity. Public health officials warn it's too much too soon. If we lift the restrictions now, we'll, we're just asking for another wave. And remember, every time we get another wave, people die. Other parts of the country are also loosening restrictions. Massachusetts is now allowing restaurants to open at full capacity, plus live performances. On Wednesday, San Francisco will allow indoor dining for the first time in months. And in Chicago, bars and restaurants can stay open until 1 a.m. Oh, you got it down to a science. Here in L.A., doctors like Angelique Campin are feeling good about the state of vaccines. The other Another encouraging thing about Johnson & Johnson is that it's a single dose vaccine. But Dr. Campen is also worried about loosening safety measures. Until everyone is vaccinated, we can't drop the mask mandate uh, because people that haven't been vaccinated and haven't had coronavirus have no protection. And Dr. Campen says while she is pleased with the pace of vaccinations, she and other doctors are concerned about folks who are finding ways to skip the line. She is urging people to wait their turn to get the vaccination so high-risk folks can get their doses first. Juan, back to you. All right, Tom, thanks.